What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectible Reviews. Coming at you this week with a super, super quick toy hunt. It is Christmas Eve morning. My wife sent me out for Starbucks. I said I got to hit a Target or a Walmart while I'm out. So we're going to see what it's like. It is 10 degrees here in North Carolina. Un unbelievable. I think it's like, feels like seven, but it's actually 10. It is frigid. Uh, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to run inside a Target here real quick to see what they got on the shelves. And, uh, Maybe head back to the man cave, do a quick little toy haul of a couple things that come in and uh, wrap up a quick toy hunt video. So hang around. Let's go see what's on the shelves. All right, guys, we're in the small neck of section over here. This stuff is bare. Look at that. Look at these shelves. It's the least stocked I've seen in a while. It is stocked over here in the Jurassic World section, though. Some of the Legacy Collection stuff down there. It is the Sorna Capture Pack. Got the new Django Starship. And a collection of Ceratops. And we gotta hope that this Buzz Lightyear stuff gets clearanced out. Got some sale on some Masters of the Universe assorted figures. Got a 40th He-Man there, which is a fantastic figure. And look at this, King Gray Skull Hordak for $16.50. And She-Ra, $16.49. That is awesome. Star Wars Deluxe figures on sale. Got a whole slew of the Dark Troopers there. Squadrons. The little figures there. Those are actually pretty well detailed figures. Got some retro collection Star Wars. Whole bunch of short troopers up in here. Oh, we got that new Darby looking good. Oh, these have the, the red tops on them. We got our video game stuff. But yeah, I mean, look at the bear pegs over here. You can tell we're uh, the parent shop for the kids. For sure. It's a pretty cool little dive on the back. Got all the Mario Brothers down there. A little bit of Fortnite. Hasbro. Got Sky there. And we got some Lego Jurassic World stuff. And out here on the end cap, we just got more. More Jurassic World. Dreadnoughts down there. Hmm, we do have Deathstroke. Got Black Adam over here. Got some Rangers up there. Got the Ninjas. Ooh, they're on sale for 13. And Red Ninja on sale for 18. Farland action figures are $13.99. So yeah, be checking your targets, guys. This is uh, some good sales, and I, I would imagine even more to come. I mean, you can just see there's sales stickers everywhere if you, you know, pay attention here. Like your, looks like we got some sales over here on some of the Legends figures. Marvel Legends series Iron Spider figures, 22 Spider-Man 19. Looks like there's none of those there, but you do have the new Hawkeye figures there. You got Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. Looking pretty good. You got Ironheart here. Someone did a figure swap. I got a good feeling on that. You do got the bag Spidey there. Alright, we'll head over to NECA. Alright, we got some uh 
McFarlane Green Arrow figures there. And on down, we got the new Salmon Twitch. Lots of those. I'd love to catch this on sale because I do need these two guys for my spawn collection. Got the new dragons looking good. All right, you guys, got a little more horror. Got some creep show. That's a new one. I don't think we've seen this one yet. That's pretty cool looking. Look at that face. Couple head sculpts in there. Let's see a creep show. Got some more dragons. Little jaws there. Got the thing, the Predator 2 City Hunter. They're looking good. Got some American Werewolf. Another great head sculpt. A NECA. Slash. A little bit of uh, Arnold here from his first movie appearance. Got Hooper. That's in the, in the shark cage. They're looking real nice. Killed those head sculpts. Some TMNT in there. Check this figure out. The Splinter is Van Helsing, which looks amazing. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand here. There we go. So there is our Splinter figure. How he looks. This is one I'll have to pick up right here eventually as well. And we got a bunch of aliens and King Kong over here. Got the uh, Glow in the Dark, Frankenstein. Wolf and uh -oh. I'm making a mess. Christmas Eve here. Got a uh, loot crate. Got some of the Street Fighter and Turtles. Got a Donatello there. Some more Spawn. Batgirl. Manga Spawn. Some of the turtles and Stranger Things mixes. There's the uh, one with Hopper as well. And then a really cool Chucky doll. There's Van Helsing. That's the newest thing we found. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, real quick, that was Target. Lots of stuff on sale. We're going to hit up a GameStop. I do want to tell you guys, probably the last video of 2022 right here, I want to hear your guys' feedback. Let me know what you enjoyed about the channel. Let me know the things that I can do differently that you may enjoy more. Do you want to see more toy reviews? Do you want to see more live streams? Do you want to see more or less of any of that? Toy hunts, what do you like? Let me know. I enjoy the feedback. So uh, drop those comments down below. We're going to hit up GameStop, and then we are going to get back to the man cave and look at a haul. So hang around. See you back in the man cave after GameStop. All right, guys. We got some more clearance on, on some Star Wars. Here in GameStop. Got the Pink Ranger 24. That don't seem like clearance to me, but a few more clearance items. We got... Of the Knight Brothers there, 28? Is that clearance? What the heck? Somebody explain this to me in the comments. How is this clearance? If that's clearance, what the heck is the regular price? Oh, there's one I want. But that doesn't seem like clearance either. That's pretty cool there too. Shazam down there. Here's, I guess, the not clearance aisle over here. Got a cool Tuscan Raider. Got the droid, KX security droid, some battalion troopers. Some Riot Scout Troopers. That's pretty cool. Just a regular battle droid there. Got the uh, Knight Brother Archer. Pretty cool there. Whoops. Making a mess. Coming around. Got Spider-Man. What is that? I don't know what that is either. 
these right here are pretty cool. That's awesome. That is awesome. Very cool stuff. All right, guys, we are back in the man cave. Toy hunt done. Christmas Eve. I, I had no intentions of really doing this toy hunt today. Uh, but when the wife kind of begged me to get out there and uh, get her some Starbucks this morning, there wasn't many people on the roads. However, I will say like Target and the shopping centers were pretty crowded. It was pretty impressive. I Really more so than most of the days leading up until today. Um, I, I couldn't believe how many people were out at like seven o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. So anyways, let's run through a little bit of my haul from the last couple of weeks. I think it's been maybe two weeks since I've done a toy hunt and a haul video. So We'll run through some of the things that I've picked up. So I wanted to see what these were about. The starting lineup figures by Hasbro. Um, a little bit pricey. I think they're 50 bucks a piece to be determined. I, I, I can probably say fairly confidently these are not worth $50. Um, I would say maybe like a $39.99 price point would have been pretty fair on these. Um, I went ahead and got LeBron. Uh, I probably will pick up some of these as we go. Here he is actually out of his box and on the stand. Now, they're pretty cool looking. I mean, LeBron, the likeness is pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, they come with basketball hands. These shorts and everything are sculpted in. The jerseys is actually like a soft plastic over the top of the body. So that's pretty cool. Um, it kind of has like a, like a soft rubbery feel to it. A little bit different than what the shorts are. The shorts have a kind of a hard plastic feel to them. This is th that soft rubbery feel. So although it looks pretty cool, they didn't get the tattoos and stuff, which kind of is a little bit of a letdown because I feel like if you're, if you're paying 50 bucks for a six inch figure for your favorite sports players, their tattoos are just part of who they are. You know, it's part of what makes them, you know, you take guys like Allen Iverson, if they ever do Allen, uh, his tattoos and things were some of the biggest, that was some of the biggest talk of his time in the NBA. Uh, there was actually a lot of controversy around some of his tattoos and things that he was showing back then. He was kind of breaking the mold of what we had typically seen with NBA players back then. So if they go to leave some of those things off, that just takes away a lot of the player that we cheered for and loved. AI was one of my favorite players when I was a kid. So, you know, that's a little bit of a missed opportunity. Maybe as this line continues to go, maybe they, you know, do start doing some of that. Even if they didn't get things like the tattoos exactly right, even if they just put some type of tattooing on there, at least would give the appearance of tattoos if it's not specifically LeBron's tattoos. Just something I hope maybe they consider in the future. You know, they do have uh, the shoes, so I'm sure they're paying licensing fees for all of these things. So overall, it's a good looking figure. I just don't know the 50 is really where we're at probably would have needed a little more detail, a little more accessories in order to get to that $50 price point. And then I'm going to talk about something that's really cool. I met Ray Park at one of our local comic book stores, Rebel Base Comic and Toys. They do a great job of really uh, bringing in people to, to have signatures done. So Ray Park was there. I went out and met him, stood in line for like three hours to meet this guy. It was a fantastic experience by Rebel Base. Got a Black Series Darth Maul sign. This is that orange stripe version. So a very cool version here of Darth Maul, I think. Uh, pictures are on my Instagram and everything. So if you follow me over there, you already would know or be aware uh, that I got to go meet Ray, but that was just a really cool experience. Also, we got the Mezco 112 Collective Predator figure in. This thing, I'm seeing some good reviews on this guy. I've had this for probably two to three weeks and just haven't even gotten a chance to get him out of the packaging yet. It's been a really busy time over here, uh, but I think this is gonna be an awesome figure. I'm a big fan of Mezco. Big fan of Predator, so what can go wrong there, right? Got our Heralds of Galactus 2-pack in from Hasbro Pulse, so looking forward to getting this out. You know, the Terax, I think the build figure is probably a little stronger than this release. Uh, I really don't know anything about the Fallen one. I think that's maybe a newer Herald. I'm just not real familiar with him, but he looked super cool, and he was a Herald of Galactus, so I figured I need to go ahead and pick him up. So we got the Herald of Galactus 2-pack in from Hasbro Pulse. And then the last thing is something I near about forgot I'd even went and pre-ordered from Limited Run. We've got TMNT Shredder's Revenge. This is the collector's edition. It did come in what looks kind of like a VHS packaging. This is for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I have the digital version on Nintendo Switch as well as a copy on my Xbox Series X. So I'm not going to be opening this one. I'm going to leave this one as a sealed package. So uh, yeah, just really cool. This came today actually on New Year or New Year's. This is Christmas Eve. Uh, so just a cool Christmas gift, I guess, to myself is the Shredder's Revenge 
collector's edition from Limited Run Games. So guys, that is it. I hope everybody has a fantastic Christmas. Merry Christmas to each one of you guys. Again, drop those comments down below and give me some of that feedback I talked about a little bit earlier. If there's certain things we're doing on the channel that you really like, let me know. If there's things you'd like to see more of, like the live streams or more consistent toy hunts, which I've been doing every Saturday. It just hadn't been so consistent around the holidays, November, December. Hopefully we'll get back to a little more consistency on doing those Saturday toy hunts every week. Uh, but just what do you like to see? More figure reviews? I obviously have a ton of figures I could review. Sometimes it's finding the time of it, but I just want to hear what you guys would like to see out of this channel going forward into 2023. So I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas. Stay warm out there. Until next time.